Okay, second uh, bridge math video for this morning, reviewing rules of signed numbers, how we multiply, divide, and then add and subtract using signed numbers. So I have a whole set of problems here that show us all the possible combinations, or at least most of them. And I'm just gonna go through it and talk about how I solve them and solve them. So on the left here, these are multiplication problems because they have these parentheses. And then we have division problems using this division symbol, the bar, with the dot, and also the slash. These are all division. Then, so I'm gonna solve these and talk about, let's talk about the rules for multiplying and dividing with signed numbers. If you have a positive and a positive, the answer will be positive. If you have a negative and a negative, negatives cancel each other out. Your answer is gonna be positive. Remember thinking about those two negatives making the plus. If you have one of each, a negative and a positive, your answer will be negative. So a negative three times a positive two, answer negative times positive, negative six. A three times a two, remembering if we don't see a sign, it's always positive. Three times two, regular old six, positive. We don't put the plus sign um, unless we have to for our notes. A negative, times a negative, two negatives make a positive. That's gonna be a positive six. I'm putting my plus sign in little dots because when I get good at math, I don't need to write that down. It's always, I know it's there. Um, this is a three times a negative two, positive times a negative, negative six. Here I have divisions. 30 divided by two is gonna be 15, but is it gonna be positive or negative? Well, I have a negative 30 and I have a positive two. So it's gonna be negative 15, negative 30 divided by negative two. Two negatives make a positive 15. This is still 30 divided by two. Now I've got two goes in, it's both positive. So two positives ends up being positive. And then finally, 30 divided by negative two, and I end up with a negative. So that's all multiplication and division. And over here, this is what we reviewed earlier, combining sign numbers, a negative three combined with a positive two. I owe three, I get back two, I'm still gonna be in the negative, negative one. A positive three combined with a positive two, it's gonna be five. A negative three combined with a negative two, I owe three and then I owe two more. It's gonna be a combined negative, a combined, the three and the two value are combined, but they're all negative, so negative five. And then three, we minus two or positive three minus two is gonna be one. Now these last two are maybe trickier, but the same rules apply. So here I have three sets of parentheses. I'm gonna start at the very middle parentheses and I'm gonna solve on my way out. So the middle one is a three inside the parentheses and a negative one outside. No symbol there in between, so it's multiply. Negative one times three is gonna be negative three. I still copy down all the rest of the work because I have to keep track. So now I've got this one left. It's a negative three inside the parentheses times a negative one. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is gonna be 
a positive three inside the parentheses with still a negative one outside. So I started with three sets of parentheses. I got down to two and now I have one. What I have inside here is one term only. So I can go ahead and multiply to get it out. Negative one times three is gonna be negative three. And that's my final answer there. And then this last one, this can be the most tricky. Notice I have the term inside the parentheses. It's just one, one number with a sign. So I should be ready to multiply to get it out of the parentheses. In front of the parentheses, I have a symbol, just a negative with no number. I'm gonna to have to use the rule of multiplication to simplify this whole thing. The negative outside times the negative number inside goes back to this rule. A negative times a negative is a positive. So I'm gonna simplify this and it's gonna look like this when I get from here to here. Negative times a negative makes a positive. It's a positive eight. So finally, I get to negative three plus eight. The eight value is greater. Eight is bigger than three. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna increase by eight, but I'm gonna go down by three. I'm gonna end up at five, positive five. Hope that's helpful. I'm sorry I can't meet with you guys this week. I'm gonna be checking the email and the um, Khan Academy. If you finished some Khan Academy work already, I'm gonna assign you some more, but only for people who finished some already. All right, I will try to check in. I don't think actually I check in again until next week, but I'll try and check in over the weekend. All right, bye.